outside of a shrine for three days and nights in order to become a monk, or the Egyptian boy who must walk on hot coals. All of us are about to go through a new passage in our lives. Now, I doubt that any of us will become monks. I'm also gonna go out on a limb here and say that most of us will never walk on hot coals. And for those who already have, then please see a doctor. I I'm pretty sure at least a dozen are here in the audience tonight. Now, you may be wondering, what in the world does this have to do with me? Well, what I'm really trying to get across to you here is the importance of the rite of passage. I'm sure you've all heard of this. It is a common practice in almost every society. And whether we realize it or not, all the eighth graders here tonight are going through a rite of passage. We are closing one chapter in our lives, and as we turn the last page, we are moving on to a new and challenging future. So we need to realize that this isn't really the end, but rather a new beginning. I know that sounds cheesy, but it, it just so happens to be true. We're moving on. Now, we can choose to see this as a negative, or the positive that it really can be. Now, I want everybody in the audience to look to your right. Look to your right, dude. And now to your left. And now back to me. Now to the left, right, and back to me. Great. Hope you're okay. <laughs> what you're looking at here are some really awesome people. You know, we are lucky enough to live in a community populated by genuinely nice folks. Every person here has the opportunity to be happy. And if you're not, th then get with the program. <laughs> we live with enough uh, food, good shelter, and clean water. That's a lot more than most people in the world can say. So when we all go off to DHS, we need to appreciate all the things we have and all the nice people that are here with us tonight. If we stick together and have the right attitude, then I'm sure we'll be fine. However, you can't only rely on other people. You have to make sure that you are the right you. So what we need to do, eighth graders, is pick the you that you like the most. The best way to succeed is to like yourself, to feel that you, as an individual, are important and are in control of your own life. So try to figure out what kind of you you like the most, and always try to be that you. Always make yourself feel that you are reaching your full potential as a person. Over the summer, I'd like all of you to ask yourselves this one question. How do you want to be viewed? Do you want to be confident, artistic, clever, or hardworking? The possibilities are endless. Now, if you figure this out during the summer and act on it during freshman year, then I think you'll not only like yourself more, but so will everyone else. Now, We've come to the end of a monumental time in our lives because these past three years were probably the most awkward times in our whole existence. <laughs> the whole social aspect of middle school has left most of us in a rather strange state. <laughs> we're not adults, we're not kids, we're on the fringe. <laughs> time when we have to decide what kind of person we're going to be. And that's really annoying. If what everyone says is true, then we've already been through the worst of it. And look at us, we're still breathing, and the best is yet to come. Now we're going to a place where we have the opportunity to branch out even more and try new things. I encourage you to continue the things that you love, but also open yourselves up to new activities that are there for you. However, before we leave, it is very important to spend some time talking about the essence of our last three years here at Shepherd Middle School. In order to move to the future, we have to acknowledge the past and what was important. So what I would like to focus on is not only the legacy of our eighth grade experience, but a topic that I believe is equally important. The topic being what we take with us. What was your 
experience? What did you learn over these last three years? Not just about, your, about school, but about yourself. When you look at it, our school is very similar to a giant ocean. It's just an important place where new waves come in every once in a while. Metaphorically, these waves are students. While we like to believe that five years from now, our teachers are going to remember us, that may not be the case. It, it isn't that they don't care. It's just that they have a new hundred kids to remember every new year. However, all of us are going to remember this experience. So we have to review our memories that occurred between the walls of Shepherd Middle School and contemplate what we learned. If you don't understand the past, then how can you be ready for the future? As of tonight, we're officially finished with this chapter in our lives. These days have already been written in our vast collection of the Book of Life, but there's much more writing to be done. These next four years are going to be just as crucial as our time spent here. Everything is going to change again. So basically, what we have to figure out is how to handle the future and try to make sense of the past. I know you hear this every morning, but what we have to do is make good choices, make a difference. So say a hearty goodbye to Shepard and move forward to what I will think will be a bright future for all of us. I'll see you next year, class of 2015.